Welcome, this video provides instruction on how to calculate simple compound and conditional probabilities from Venn diagrams. So let's start off with some simple and compound probabilities. So our first example here is we have a Venn diagram that has uh, left circles with pepperoni pe pizza, people who prefer pepperoni on their pizza. Uh, the, the right circle here in the Venn diagram is people that prefer pineapple. So how you read the Venn diagram, right? Pepperoni, there's there's 15 and 3 in there. So there's actually 18 people that prefer pepperoni. If you look in the pineapple circle, there's the 3 plus the 5. So there's 8 people that prefer pineapple. And then this number outside of both circles are 7 people that prefer a different topping or do not prefer pepperoni or pineapple on their pizza. All right. So probability of pepperoni, what we're going to do here is, is we're going to look at pepperoni circle and we see that we had the 15 and the 3 that's 18 and then the total amount of people in this Venn diagram is 30 right 15 plus 3 plus 5 plus the 7 is 30 so it's 18 out of 30 is our probability you can reduce that to 3 over 5 the decimal is 0. 0.6 which would be 18 divided by 30 on the calculator and then you multiply that decimal 0. 0.60 by 100 and it becomes 60 all right. The next one is a compound probability with or. So probability uh, one prefers pepperoni or pineapple on their pizza. So or what we're going to use is everything that's in pepperoni. So 15 and a three, everything in pineapple, which is a three and the five. We're not going to double count the three, though. We're going to count it once. So that's going to be 15 plus three is 18. 18 plus the 5 is 23. So we get 23 out of 30. Divide 23 by 30, you get 0.7666. And then multiply that by 100, you get 76.7%. I'm going to show you another way. If you think of the probability of pepperoni by itself, well, that's 18 out of 30. And then you think about the probability of pineapple by itself, that is plus the 8 out of 30. And then when we did that, we, we actually have an overlap. We double counted the 3, right? The 3 was in both. So then we have to take that out. We got to take one of those out because we double counted. So minus 3 over 30. So if you go 18 plus 8 minus the 3, you're going to get the 23 out of 30. So there's another way of doing it. Okay, let's look at the last example for this page. Um, what's the probability uh, someone prefers pepperoni and pineapple on their pizza? So the and is the intersection of the two. So that is going to be just the three there, right? It intersects both, it's both in the pepperoni circle. That's also in the pineapple circle. So three out of 30, which can simplify to one out of 10, which is 0 0.10 or 10%. Now let's switch gears and look at some conditional probabilities. So this first one says the probability that someone uh, prefers pineapple on their pizza given they like to have the pepperoni on their, their pizza. Okay, So probably they like pineapple given that we know they like pepperoni. So in this case, our condition is they like pepperoni. Okay, And then out of those 18 that like pepperoni, how many also like pineapple? Well, that's the... 3. So that's how we get 3 out of 18, which is can reduce to 1 out of 6. 3 divided by 18 is 0 0.16666. And then take that, convert it to a, a percentage, you multiply by 100, you get 16.7% if I round. Okay. How about this one? Probability someone likes pepperoni on their pizza, given we know that they like pineapple on their pizza. So on this one, our condition that's given is they like pineapple on the pizza okay and so we know there's eight people in that condition that we're talking about so then of those eight how many also like pepperoni well that's the three so we get three out of eight which is 0.375 or 37.5 percent okay so see the subtle difference between these two problems it's all based on the condition the left one the condition is they like pepperoni so there's 18 people in that condition. And then the one on the right, the given condition is they like pineapple. There's only eight 
students that were in that condition. 